In today's video, I'm going to be going over one of the best AGAP blitzes right now in NCAA College Football 25. And this blitz comes in free. Literally comes in free. If you follow the setups, I'm going to show y'all uh, in this video. So make sure y'all hit the like button, sub, sub to the channel. Comment down, comment down below the number 11, boys. And I'll see y'all in the setups. Let's go ahead and get right into this video. Right here on the screen, boys, we are in a 335. Uh, playbook like I said to y'all in the intro and what you want to do go to your coach adjustments you want to have auto flip off and this is very key have auto flip off if you want this blitz to come in you want to go to conservative option defense rekey conservative option defense pitch key and then that's pretty much it you can touch you know do your flats however y'all boys want to you know what I'm saying that's really depends on who you're playing against come out in this formation three three five stack and you see this play right here where is it let me go down to show you Mike Sam three so how you want to run this play, you need the mic Sam 3 to be ran to the from right from the blitz to come off from the right side. So meaning the the three red hook will be on the left side with with the two blitzers on the right side. So let's do that. I don't know why I just did that, but uh, let's go ahead here. Make sure the blitzers are on the right side, boys. Make sure that ha that is happening. Let's go ahead and come out in bunch, which bunch is probably the best formation in the game. Or there's a lot of good formations in college football, right? How you want to set this up is you're going to use the three red hook. And what you're going to do is, is press right in your D-pad, left stick, just shift linebackers to pinch them. This is how it's going to look, boys. And after you do that, all you want to do is shift your D-line to the right and then shade underneath. Press the right bumper, the right bumper, and then press right stick up, which is the guest pass. And you can put your user in any zone you want. You can put them in a three break and a vert hook, hard, flat, whatever, whatever you feel as though it's the right one. You can blitz them if you want to. Me personally, I like to put them in a the vert hook. That way I can switch stick off of them. And, and then then and then just shade underneath. And you're gonna see right here, watch the pressure right here. Watch this guy come in free right here. Boom, on oh, my fault, hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all boys in the replay, but I'm gonna show y'all one more time and just show y'all boys that this blitz does come in freely. I'm gonna go ahead and snap it right here, boom. And you're gonna see, see that how that guy just comes in free right there. Now, there was some people open on the field, which is, that's gonna happen. But y'all boys are going to see, this is a easy, easy A gap. Oh, I don't know if this is an A gap, but it's an easy gap blitz. Let's put it like that. So y'all boys see right here, boom. He is coming in free. My user was there, was there, but it really wasn't there. It just depends, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, your user has to be at least decent. It don't have to be the best user. Just make sure it's a decent user. So remember, you don't have to press, but press, shift your D-line to the right, pinch your linebackers like this, shade underneath, and then RB guest pass. The RB guest pass is like, it's like, you don't have to do that, but it, but it just depends if you want to. You don't have to do that, but you can if you want to. And then you can just go ahead and snap it. You're going to see easy A got easy, easy defense. That's the easy setup for your boys to run right there. Now, now, some people might say, oh, what if we don't want to blitz that many people this and a third? So, say you put this A guy in the zone. So, say you put him in the vert hook, right? Would this uh, guy come off the A gap right there this time? And you see, he kind of does, but it's like he doesn't come in freely this time. So, therefore, this time he doesn't like, take the angle where he came in free. Whereas, if you, uh, you know, as when we did the last time, when we actually blitzed that many people. So, watch again right here. We're going to see this guy come up the a gap once again so boom and this time he just he, he get he gets picked up this time so therefore you kind of have to adjust around it if you want this if you want the a gap to come in free things of nature if you want it to work you kind of have to adjust around it. so like right here what i'm going to do is now i'm gonna put my user in a uh curl flat and i'm gonna put this guy i'm gonna, i might just use this guy and just put him in a middle read like this shade underneath rb guest pass you're going to see right here something of the sort like this you can do something like this if i want to you can still use her, your user right here put him in a hard flat it just depends on how you want to defend certain stuff and things of nature like how you want to do it. so sometimes what you can do is is you can put like this outside b guy in a hard flat put uh a and a outside there to the right so this is like kind of like kind of crazy defense but it's really good defense i'm gonna shade underneath inside right here yeah boys are going to see right here this is still great defense so like you see right here this is still great defense this is not bad defense you know what i'm saying it, it really just depends on what type of offense you're playing against what type of player you're playing you're playing against so you see right here my opponent which is like the cpu basically has been running the slant so therefore i put a middle read the sign is taken away you know what i'm saying so you see the hitch route with that outside third basically playing like a vert hook he's going to run with it a little bit therefore he just can't throw like the little hitch route therefore it's going to kind of deter him from throwing it even though he can't throw it, it's going to kind of deter him from throwing it plus my user will be right there so therefore it gets time for this a guy to come in free to get after the qb 
and then you can see we got the two out routes you got the out route right here taken away from the hard flat and this uh hard route right here easily taken away from the hard flat so this is multiple things y'all boys can do just make sure you set it up if you want the a guy to come in free make sure you set up the exact way i just told y'all and realistically if y'all want to you can just man people up so like you can do something like this so like this this guy x you can man him up on the outside x guy like this you can man up uh you can put b on a hard flat and then man up like b uh man up this guy just the slide db on b you can put like this guy in like a, a outside there to the right like this so like boom something like this so you can just run so many different things you know what i'm saying i'm gonna shade in, inside like this you know what i'm saying it's just so many different things you can do with this formation with this one little play but this is a major really good play right now in ncaa college football 25 so make sure y'all boys hit the like button sub to the channel let me know what other plays or defenses y'all boys want to see right now in college football 25 check out the patreon link in the description and i see y'all boys in the next video peace you finna watch this